I, I just finished the movies Mr. Griffith and Me, which is Lillian Gish's autobiography written with another woman whose name I can't remember right now. And I can't find the book or I'd show it to you. Anyway, I learned things about filmmaking and about power. And D.W. Griffith was a filmmaker and a powerful filmmaker. He was a filmmaker, auteur, in the time when filmmakers were, he was considered like Michelangelo or something. He was the cinema artist at the time. And, but, you know, people like, well, Lillian Gish had been with him from the very beginning. And she was just his soldier. She would do anything. <laughs> and, of course, uh, everybody remembers <laughs> the scene well, everybody should remember anyway, the scene in Way Down East when she has been chased out of the house by her husband, by her husband's family, and ends up in the river on the ice flow. Well, they had to wait an ungodly number of weeks for the river to thaw. It didn't thaw. And they had to shoot in a snowstorm. They wanted it to be snowing. He wanted it to be snowing. The, the big blizzard of 1920 that stopped New York and grind to a halt and all that. Well, they're shooting in it. <laughs> and the ice didn't break up, so DW had the ice flow dynamited. <laughs> so the ice is now flowing. Poor Miss Gish is faced with a scene that is at, le at in the very least life-threatening because she had to run out get into the ice and she said called it to uh, to dw mr griffith she didn't call him dave until almost the very end <laughs> She called out, Mr. Griffith, do you like my arm and my hair trailing in the water? He said, yeah, do it. By the end of the th take, her arm was n frozen almost, <laughs> and her hair was a, a hunk of ice. Well, you got to re remember, they're shooting in a, we're shooting in a blizzard, okay? DW is used to being able to be heard with his megaphone. There were no microphones. <laughs> there were no amplification systems. This is 1920. There she goes, out on the ice, and D.W. has the actor, Mr. Harron, oh, uh, his name, anyway, waiting for his cue. The storm was so violent, he could not hear his cue. So <laughs> Lillian was headed for the waterfall on a piece of ice and certain death. Unless this actor had taken upon himself, had not taken it upon himself to jump in to the frozen, swollen river, grab Melillion Gish off the ice flow just in time, which is all on camera. But the press was given a completely different story of how that happened, because it was a total disaster. And, and it was only saved at the last minute by somebody thinking, oh my God, I can't let her die. <laughs> and so, there you go. That's the, that's the story of the waterfall scene in my town east.